Okay, guys, and welcome back to Endless Craftabilities. If you are our sub return subscribers, thank you for your consistency and your support every single week. If you are just visiting, please go watch our welcome video. Again, we say it every single time. It is... I don't know what he's doing. Um, it, it is a little crazy, probably made because of this guy here. Uh, oh, probably we should tell you who we are. So this is Max. I am mom, and usually we have May. Um, so that's just our channel. What we do here is we do crafts for, uh, you know, just a range of ages and we do it with Dollar Tree items or items that we find just around the house. Okay, now, going back to my original uh, statement, if you have not subscribed and you have been um, just enjoying our videos, please go ahead and subscribe and like the video if you enjoy doing it with us. But today, we are going to be doing, we already have Sully, and we need, we need, who, who do we need? Uh, Mike. Mike. <laughs> Mike. Mike. <laughs> I, 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 I forgot his name. Oh, okay. So this is Mike, and again, you guys, if you have a, um, oh, monster-inspired birthday party, you can use either the treat bags, or you can use it as Valentine's Day. Okay, I'm doing it. So bossy. Okay. So and I'm bossy. <laughs> you need a Dollar Tree gift bag. These actually come three in a pack for just one dollar at the Dollar Tree. We need green construction paper, blue, blue Put construction eyes. paper, red, I mean what color white construction <laughs> paper and black construction paper. Okay? All right, so we're gonna do our words of affirmation, and then we're gonna jump in and do this crap with you guys. And he's coming underneath the table. Look at that one. Okay, I am love. I am love. I am kind. Oh, I don't know. I am <laughs> kind. I, I am important. important. <laughs> <laughs> I am smart. I am brave. I am loved and I am amazing. I don't know guys, I had a moment. I just, I was not getting it right, but I hope you guys at home did get it right. Unlike me, uh, I don't know what was happening. I was having a crazy brain moment. Anyway, we are so grateful to have you guys with us again, you young king and queen. So let's jump right back into our mic to go with our Sully, all right? Okay. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and jump into our mic for our Sully. Um, I am gonna use this. I wanna make sure that's the size that I did. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make his eyes. Can I glue? Yes, yeah. you can glue it on. So glue on his eye. And again, you need glue because this glue is not original. Oh, here. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so we traced a big circle for his eye. Now, if you don't have a stencil, go ahead and use something that's circle around the house. You can use a cup, a can. Uh, you can go and freehand it yourself. Freehanding is when you do it without using uh, another tool. You just use your hand and your uh, your brain to just get it cut. Okay, so there is that eye. So now I'm gonna do my green. It's gonna be the same shape because they're not gonna overlap, they're not going to go within each side of one another, they're just gonna overlap at the bottom, okay? So now we're gonna pick, cut this. And again, as always, Max and May, I, we usually just cut theirs out in advance so that the video doesn't get too long for you guys and you're able to uh, quickly get the craft done at home with your grown up. There we are. So, and then, what am I doing? Backwards, there you go. There we are. Now, next thing, I'm gonna go ahead and, ooh, I'm gonna do his ears. Well, his horns are not actually ears. It's hard to fold this paper in half, so what I'm gonna do is cut it into twos, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it again into the shape we need. So, we're gonna do a straight line and then we're gonna do like a, whatever that was that I just did, like a, a part of a circle, right? Just kinda, if I was gonna be making a circle and then stopping, okay? 
these are going to go just like this. So we can start pasting these on. So that I don't get glue on the table, I am going to go ahead and use this scrap paper. So we're going to paste on our green eye. And Max was right, this glue is not the best right now. I got glue. Just like this. Oh, not the craft glue. Okay, can I share your glue? Yes. Thank you. All right, so we're okay. gonna put paste on the green part of his eye and I'll give it right back. Paste that down and then we're gonna put paste on the white part of his eye. And oh, it's fine. Okay. There we are. Give me a second. Then we're gonna go ahead and paste on his horns. I'll give this back to you. Make sure that you flip your horn so when we cut it, it was like this. But you don't want to put them both on like that. Well, unless you want to and you're the artist and you can. But if you want it to be like this, you're going to flip it over and then have it just so, just like so, okay? I didn't get quite enough glue on here. So now, I've, now this should be okay. There you are. Here you are. Hopefully there's any green on there. Oh, it's okay. It's just from the color of the eye. Okay. All right, now on to the blue part of his eye. So I am going to use the stencil again. Oop. I'm just throwing pencils. Pencil safety, guys. We're going to cut that out. Just following the trace lines that I did. Okay. And then I'm going to paste that on. We're sharing paste right now because I don't want to get up and go in my craft box, but. Let me check it. Okay. I can see what I can do with this. Oh, that's okay. I just have to keep pushing it up. There we are. Use it to the last drop. All right, so we got the blue part of our eye back on. And now I'm going to make a smaller circle to go inside the blue part of my eye. Just like that. There we are. Okay, and then what we're going to do is take another small piece of white and put it in the middle of the black part. I've got to cut that. Oh, oh <coughs> God bless you. Thank you. I always lose these tiny white pieces of paper. All right, so that's just going to go right here. There we are. And now I'm going to cut out the mouth. So I'm going to start where I already have some scrap, well I already have a cut, and again we're just going to make a little, I don't know why I'm having some trouble with talking through my, my, what in the world, these <laughs> dips, <laughs> I don't want to say it's a circle because it's too, it's like a banana, so I'm going to keep saying that, I'm going to make the bottom part like a banana, and then I'm going to come over and do the top part and there and, we are for his mouth and this is a safety you don't want to cut yourself because you saw someone on tv they do the mic and they cut yourself they, will, they won't be able to hear you honey because you're talking too low so you gotta have to speak louder for them okay you gonna tell them well well always scissor Always is a safety because we watched someone on TV and they was 
cut him. Does he kill the cat? They cut themselves and out. Don't want that to happen. No. Don't you? We don't want that to happen to you. So scissor safety. We watch a lot of cooking shows in our house. Um, and we do a lot of, I would say, cooking and baking in our house as well. And we saw a grown-up who was using some knives. They were cutting very quickly. Um, of course, which what they were trying to do. But they did make uh, an oopsie and then they end up cutting themselves. So Max does not want you to cut yourself, so be very careful. So, what we did was we cut a white sheet of paper and we use our black mouth to trace out where we were able to start shaping our teeth. And so this is going to be the top part of our teeth and all we're going to do is make small little mountains. You see? And disregard all those noises. Things are happening in my kitchen. All right, and so here's his teeth. You already got the teeth uh, on? Yep, I got okay. everything on. And then the bottom part. Oh, and now it sounds like something's happening in the sink. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know. All right, and then there you are for his teeth. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this on, and we will have a mic to go with our Sully. There we go. Paste, paste, paste. This is our Sally. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's our Sally and our Mike, the duo from Monsters, Inc. I don't know if they'll be able to see you. Let me move over. There we are. Our Mike and our Sully. Can't have one without the other. So, again, this will be a very awesome bag if you were doing a Monsters, Inc. inspired birthday party. Or if you were doing this for your Valentine's craft. Or if you know you have a friend and you're going over their house for their birthday, you could always make this as your gift bag to them. So lots of ideas on these, these crafts and how you can use them differently. All right, there we go. Thanks for doing this craft with us. Okay, so thank you guys for doing that craft with us. As you can see, we've got our mic to go with our Sully and our Sully to go with our mic. I hope you're... You guys enjoyed, not the whole Mike and Sully family situation. I hope you guys enjoyed doing that craft with us. Again, you guys can definitely use this if you are doing a Monsters Inc. inspired birthday party or a Valentine's gift bag uh, or for any other reason you, you want to give a Monsters Inc. bag with stuff in it, okay? So we'll see you guys next time. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe if you have not already done so. We'll see you again next week with a brand new craft. Bye.